Uh, Wednesday, this this eleven year old Shizu, the complaint was uh, that she was not eating yesterday and had the vaginal discharge, which the owner sent sent an image to me by by uh, what's that? Now, according to the owner, the discharge was yesterday, and uh, the image was this this image. So this image, let's see whether you can see it from your, your, your camera here. There's a discharge here and there, you can see. Mm -hmm. You can focus on it. So this is this dog discharge. So she just wanted some tablets, some medication to to uh, clear the infection. I told her it's open pyometra, open pyo, and uh, she doesn't want any surgery to, to uh, this is the picture to to remove the ovaries and uterus. Okay, now the dog is here now today. Now we will check. We took the temperature, there's no fever, 30, 30 points. Seven. Uh, the dog is uh, 11 years old and, and, uh, and uh, we will check the examination. You can see it's, it's dehydrated. The color is uh, still pink. Still pink, the gum still pink. The dog still eating and drinking according to the owner. Now, have a quick check. Have a quick check on the condition. Dog is a uh, thin. Female, not spit. Heart is okay. Lungs. Lungs alright. No sounds, abdomen. A bit of intestinal sounds, not much. Then uh, we go to abdominal palpation. Abdominal palpation. After checking the any discharge, you can see that they are clean up. There is no discharge now. The owner is unsure of how, how many days of discharge. Okay, so now I will just do the palpation, abdominal palpation. First of all, I check the liver and kidney. See any pain or not? Okay, check. The dog is very thin, so it's easier to feel liver, kidney, and spleen. The kidneys is not enlarged. Not enlarged. There's, there's a little discomfort. Liver not enlarged, spleen not enlarged. Now I feel the the back half of the abdomen now. Now I can feel the uterus. Now the uterus, you can feel has a row like less like sausage. It's not much enlarged. It's about sausage size because of the open pyometra. The the pus has come up from there, so there's no uh, no uh, accumulation of pus. So. It's about three centimeter in diameter, and so, so that is the situation. Now we turn upside down, have a quick look. This dog not been <coughs> not been spit. Now these are the breast tumors, then the breast tumors. Okay, MG five, right breast tumor. This one is okay. This one is okay. This side is okay. So the right hand side only one. MG five <coughs> right side memory gland. So now we look at the left side. Well, normally there are five, not two. This is three, three. Uh. So, so this is this is the fourth one. Okay, MG four memory gland four left side breast nodule. And uh, so overall there are only two breast nodules. The the right side MG five and left side MG four. This MG3 okay, MG2 okay, MG1 nothing, MG1 nothing. So so we know there are two tumors, and these are the warts. Uh, the warts. Many old dogs they develop warts, and uh, overall, the dog looks to be uh, looks to be quite quite thin. In fact, it's thin. You can feel the bones. Uh. But there's no abdominal pain. There's an advantage of it. There's no abdominal pain. There's no fever. So we give a drip. 
and uh, this is uh, the cheapest way to treat antibiotics and uh, blood tests.